Hello, good people of the Notion community. This is Matt or Mr. Bio, and I'm here to give you a quick tour of the freelancer kit that I built with Notion. Now, the reason why I made this template is because I've been a freelancer for over 10 years, and I honestly needed a better workspace in order to manage everything that I have going on with my business. So with that in mind, I went ahead and created a Notion template that anyone else who does freelance can use, whether you have a big business or a small business. And I built this in a way so that if you're someone who just started using Notion or you've been using it for a really long time, you will very easily be able to use this workspace. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. Now, the first thing that you see at the very top is your navigation. Now, all of these are pages that we're gonna take a look at in just a sec, but let me go ahead and show you the rest of the dashboard. This is basically your bird's eye view of everything that's going on within your freelance business. So as you can see, we have goals that you've set for yourself that you're tracking on the left side. On the right side, we have your project tasks, which we're gonna dive into a little bit more in just a second. On the left side, when you scroll down, you have some of your pinned notes, basically things that are important to you that you want to take a look at, as well as your projects overview board, which is very important. And then on the left side, when we scroll down even further is your finance overview, as well as your client database. Now let's go ahead and scroll up and dive into each of these a little bit further. Let's go ahead and start with projects and tasks. Now this is probably one of my favorite areas of this template, just because it makes everything really easy when it comes to managing both of those things. So as you can see at the top, this is your project board where you can change the status of all your projects that you currently have going on. Now, if we click into one of these, we have a system built out that I want to show you that you can use for onboarding your clients very easily. Now, one of the goals I had with this template was to basically make it a very quick process for you to be able to take everything from creating a proposal for your client to onboarding them, to keeping them filled in, and then eventually completing the project for them. And I feel like we've landed on something good here. Now, what you see here is an example of a project page. So you can assign a client to it. You can select the status, the deadline, the value of the project, what invoice it's connected to, and even assets that you have stored within Notion that are relevant to the project. So let's go back and start with a brand new project. If I click the new button over here, what this is gonna do is load up a template for a project that I've already created. Once you've entered all this information here, you can actually scroll down to the section where it shows you how to take your clients from the first stage where you're sending off a proposal to them all the way to the project being completed. At the very top, you have your project proposal. This is a template that I created for you so that when you're done having those conversations with clients, you can go ahead and fill in all the details as far as what the deliverables are gonna be, what the cost is going to be, as well as deadlines, services, etc. And once you have this ready, you can go ahead and send it to the client. After that, once you've started working with your client, you can go over to the project onboarding template. This is also a template that I've created for you that you can share with the client so that they can follow along with the progress that you're making on their project. If we go back, we're going to go to step three, which is creating and completing tasks. Now, if you want to create a task for your project, all that you need to do is click this button right here and you can create a task. What this is going to do is populate in your tasks section, which we're going to take a look at in just a second. Now, once the project is done and it's time to give your client the finished product, we're going to scroll down to step four, which is project delivery. Go ahead and click this template and you can fill in all the deliverables that you created for them with direct links notes and even the date that it was completed as well as just a quick overview of what the goals were for the project and how you accomplish them for your client after that you can go ahead and click the share button up here and just send it to them directly in my opinion this is a very 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 easy workflow that really anybody can pick up and use regardless of if you're new to notion or you've been using it a long time now if we scroll down even further you have your project calendar where everything is laid out according to the deadline and then if you go over to tasks here's where you can see all the different tasks that need to be done for your different projects so going back back to the rest of the template, let's go ahead and talk about clients. Now your client database is very simple and self-explanatory. This is basically just your contacts list that you can use to organize everybody that you're currently working with or that you've reached out to. Returning to the dashboard, we have the asset library, which is a place where you can basically store any resources or designs or photos or videos that are relevant to your brand or a project or maybe just some things that you want to keep internally. Now I've also added a goals and milestones section to this template that you can use which is basically just a place for you to create overall goals that you have for yourself or your business. And then you can also create smaller steps to achieve that goal, AKA milestones. Now heading over to the finances section, this is where you can track your income, your expenses, and keep track of your balance. Now in this section right here, you have all of your expenses that you can organize by category as well as date. And then below is where all of your income plus invoices are tracked. Now your notes section is really just a place where you can store any information that you want. It could be something in relation 
relation to a meeting or just something in general like, hey, here's an idea that I had for my sales or my marketing or some notes about legal, etc. Going back to the homepage, your portfolio section is also one that I really like because this basically allows you to very easily share your work with your clients. Now, I've loaded some of my own work in here so you can see how it can display. And I've also added a section here that shows services. So whenever someone visits this page, they can go ahead and click that toggle and see the services that you offer. Now, the final section is your client testimonials. Now it goes without saying that testimonials from clients are a very, very, very powerful thing that you can use to acquire even more business. So what I've done for you is create a template that you can share with your client. And then this database is where you can keep all of your testimonials from all of your clients. And that's the quick tour of the template. Like I said, I really want to create something that could operate as a one-stop shop for freelancers like myself. Overall, I've really focused on just creating a very easy workflow so that you can onboard clients, get tasks done faster, complete projects, and really just effectively run your business in every department. Now, if you want to pick up this template, it is available on Gumroad right now. I'll go ahead and leave a link to it in the description of this YouTube video. And if you end up picking it up, thank you ahead of time. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up here or on Twitter. And until next time, I'll see you next time.